And there she is. Now you answer for your crimes, witch! Indeed. Perhaps you haven't met my new protector. Do say hello. You are not the only one who has sought allies from the mortal world, sorceress. So, the Grey Warden and the First are meeting again. And it has an ally. The mistress that is of this place, it is now a friend. Is this so? The Grey Warden, it has a theory that must be tested. So you stand with the sorceress. It is a sad day when evil finds such ready accomplices. Enough. It is speaking too much to the Grey Warden. The battle, it must be done now. Seems you were as good as your word, mortal. The rebellious rabble have been defeated. Now then, I did agree to a reward, did I not? Do you have a preference? Oh, how delicious. And you still need to return to the mortal world, yes? I'll need someone from your world with an actual life force to plunder. And my my, it seems you're in luck. This one isn't quite dead yet. No, no, I was not to even be in this place. The mother, it is her deceit, her doing. Then we'll know who to thank, won't we? What is happening? No. This is the world of mortals. Beyond the veil. And this... This is... A mortal body of flesh. I am trapped within. You did this. You sided with that foul sorceress, and now she has sundered the veil. I have been sucked into this world against my will! She has returned to this realm as well. Can you not feel it? The Baroness is nearby. Because you were her ally when it was convenient. Don't be a fool. The Baroness... She is not as mortal as you are, or as were the villagers she kept trapped. There was such a mortal once, but now... 
That is a demon of pride. She assumed that role long ago to feed from the mortal she trapped. But here, in your world, here she will be quite something else. Perhaps. I wonder if it will be so simple. The veil is sundered, and the tears must be closed lest they continue to spill demons out into this world. I can alter your weapons for a time, allowing them to drive back the Fade's magic. But if we are to deal with the Baroness, we must move swiftly. This is the world of mortals. How very dull it seems. So immutable and unchanging. Yet, I am here. I have crossed the veil. The spirits will watch in envy as the mortals of this realm bow down before me. That will not happen, demon. Ah, it seems I was not the only one to be drawn here. How very tiresome. <laughs> What need have I for allies now? I had no idea I could enter the mortal world this way. Had I known... Oh, but I am here now, yes? Soon I will be queen, as this world deserves. And you? You will be the first of my subjects. So, it is done. For what it is worth, thank you. I have fulfilled my vow. May the victims of that woman's madness rest in peace, wherever they have gone to now. It seems I cannot return to the Fade. I am trapped here, in the body of this Grey Warden. There are memories within this poor man's mind. They are... they're difficult to see. But... he was a Grey Warden? He was... slain by the Darkspawn. The one called the First? And that was your pursuit when you were... tricked... into the Fade. Yes, I understand now. It seems... I am at a loss. I know nothing of this world, and have only a few memories of this Grey Warden to draw from. I do not wish to die. What shall I do, mortal? I know little of your moral character, but you are of this world. Surely you can advise me. You mean continue this mortal's mission? As a Grey Warden? It was a Darkspawn who murdered this mortal most ignobly. And the ones that commanded it yet live. To avenge his death. Yes, that would be a purpose. Yet, should I join with you? You seem uninterested in virtue. But perhaps I am too quick to judge. I would join you, if you will have me. That is not my name. I have no name. Only a virtue to which I aspire. If I am to need a name, then use that. I am Justice, and for now I am pleased to travel at your side, Grey Warden.